All right. So I ran into a problem where the character's body geometry is clipping through the clothing. It looks like this. This is more noticeable in expressive poses. And the solution? The mesh paint tool. With it, we'll create a mask to hide any unnecessary details. Since we need to hide the character's body and to make it easier for you to see the brushwork, the first thing we'll do is hide the t-shirt. In this case, the clothing and body are part of the same object, so we'll create a transparent material for the t-shirt to hide it. I have two materials for it, the main material and its instance. The instance has additional settings created within the original material. For example, I added SSS parameters here to make the t-shirt more translucent and realistic. Here's what the original material looks like. I've connected all the necessary textures in the shader and also created parameters for adjusting the material in the instance. To make the material transparent, we need to change the blend mode. I select Masked, which activates the Opacity Mask port. Next, I connect a scalar parameter node to it, name it Opacity, and set the default value to 1. After clicking Apply and saving the material, I move to the instance of this material, where we can see the additional parameter we just created in the settings list. By setting it to zero, the material becomes completely transparent. Using the same logic, we'll create a mask with mesh paint. I open the original material for the character's body. Here, the masked mode is already selected. We create a vertex color node, which records the data from the mesh paint tool. Then, we create a vector parameter node. Black equals 0 and white equals 1. When we connect the black value to the opacity mask port, it makes the material transparent. And when we connect the white, it makes it opaque. Now, we'll mix these values using the linear interpolate node. It blends two values based on a third value, which is used as the mask. We connect the nodes to the shader. Vector 0 goes to A. Vector 1 goes to B. In the alpha port, we connect the red channel of the vertex color node. We connect all of this to the opacity mask port. Be sure to click Apply and save the material. Then, we return to the scene with the character. Notice that the character is selected, and I'm in the vertex color mode of the mesh paint tool. In the color painting parameter, we keep only the red channel active. To erase the material, we choose the black color. With the brush, we paint and erase the areas where we don't want the body to be visible. Keep in mind that my character has separate materials for the arms, legs, and body. So right now, we can't erase the visibility of the arms and legs. To fix this, I will copy these nodes and add them to the other materials. Now everything is working. But if you need to restore the visibility of any area, just switch to the white color. Now, let's return the t-shirt to the character, and everything is ready. Ready to level up your Unreal skills? With our Unreal Motion course, you'll learn to create jaw-dropping 3D scenes. Enroll now!